so I think we need to have um, I think we should have everybody have a secret mission with regard to Mr. Beast yeah. okay. um, someone sh someone sh someone's job should be to make him say the n-word oh, yes. mm. uh, I don't know, you know if that what? should be Trish honestly we either gotta give that to Trish or Shinji I don't know if the language barrier allows for that. Should should you won't be able to do it? You don't think so? No. True. What do you think, Trish? I would have a think of how. Have you ever been museum? Yeah. Yeah, we've already had that discussion. I mean, you <coughs> seem to have been able to deal with pretty firm men before. Chris, maybe scooch over and then Trish get even closer to see you on camera. Even more to your right there. <laughs> Right, there we go. What else? Is, so the N word that only covers one person. What else can we make Mr. Beast do? Can you yeah. convince Mr. Beast to donate a hundred bucks to some random charity? Do some good in one of these missions. I don't know that might not be the strongest. Mm. What if we have one of them be they gotta convince Mr. B they got to convince Mr. Beast to say Chris is hot now? Get him to, you? Get, get him to earn some Chris points. No! Uh, it's Chris. Oh. By the way, you know she's my secretary, right? Yeah? Yeah, she's not that bad at it. Mm. <coughs> Alright, uh, what else? Is he done drinking for tonight? No. Okay. Could you seduce Mr. Beast? Yeah, we could try that. With the goggles on? <laughs> yes, with the goggles yeah. on. Oh, God. He's like already he... tapped me and he's trying to play with me. Like, so? yeah, be, well, like. Play what? Well, like, he tapped my shoulder and I had, like, to do a full spin to, like, find him. Or oh, he's playing a little game with you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So, something like mm -hmm. this? Yeah. Oh. How did that make you feel? I was like, who the fuck is touching me? But then I saw his yellow shirt. Did you think it would be me? No. If it was me, what would you think? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I think she's too afraid to think right now. <laughs> I can't. I right, will table that one for now. The main issue that we brought you up here to talk about mm -hmm. is if you're to win this money, how do you see that? I think it's important that whoever wins the money goes through some sort of transformative, um, ultimately positive experience. And it's what we would call storyline. Um, but it's some, it has some aspect of personal development or transformation to it. That's why it's called the initiative group. Okay. Um, I'm going to shave your head bald, but that's not part of what we're talking about right now. Um, I would love to also pull all your teeth out and make you an ugly freak. Oh. But we'll skip that. But if we're gonna, if you're gonna win this money and you have to go through some sort of positive storyline transformation, personal arc that interests people and is uplifting, what would that look like? Um. Don't lean back, Chris. Chris, I can see your. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you didn't need to see that one. Um, like, honestly, like I feel like I've had some like struggles through my life, and like um, I feel like this money would make a lot of positive change for me. And um... <clears throat> well, one of the problems there is that we and the viewers don't know what those struggles are. Okay, so, um... And I don't know how much how much your telling of your personal story is going to make people care. Okay, yeah. Is there a way to illustrate it in a, in a, in a more visual way? Um... <laughs> I mean, I guess so. Um... 
I just, I haven't always made the right choices um, growing up, and um, I really feel like this whole opportunity, like, even, like, winning the money, like, I feel like it would be a really positive change, um, and, um, sorry, uh, I would just, I don't know, I just know, like, I would make more choices. Right, the right choices for myself, and, um... How can we show the viewers what fucked up choices you've made? Um... I would possibly go more in deep... Like, I have to talk about this all right now. No, but, I mean, we get... I want to... Because we're getting close to the... And we're getting close to a, a, the first elimination... Uh, yeah. uh, or the penultimate, penultimate uh, elimination challenge. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing to figure out. You definitely have at least a day or two to think about it and get back to me if you want to. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just, I feel like I used to like struggle a lot with like school and um, relationship wise and I feel like I would do something, like maybe I could go back to school afterwards or something. Well, just think about it from the perspective of a viewer because, okay. I mean, I'm sure everybody watching, there's probably, <clears throat> it's kind of a universal story mm -hmm. I fucked up in school and it's not really, Yeah. I don't know how compelling it is. Yeah, I understand. Um, yeah, I definitely want to like put more thought into it. All right. Go think about it. Send up, uh, TJ. TJ. Oh, my gosh. You like it, Chris? Where is it? Oh. Actually, TJ, wait, count to 180 and then come up. Just wait three minutes. What do you think about that? Um, I don't, I don't know if there's much to say about it, really. She didn't, she didn't, uh, she didn't really say anything. I don't know how to give Trish all that money and have it not be boring. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, she's just kind of been surviving, I think. Mm -hmm. She's just kind of, yeah, I like how you put it, surviving. Kind of on autopilot. Mm -hmm. Cruise control, I guess. Mm -hmm. Alright, TJ. TJ, come up. <sighs> TJ! Come up here. Ha, 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 ha.